Many of us have shows and movies that we grew up on that fill us with memories that last a lifetime. These beloved works of art often featured unforgettable characters, scenes, plots, and excellent writing that instantly fills us with nostalgia anytime it comes across the screen. For example, who could forget classics like Poetic Justice, Friday, Moesha, or The Parkers? One common denominator of all these popular classics that many of us grew up on is none other than comedian and actress Yvette Wilson, whose promising career was cut devastatingly short, leaving a hole in the hearts of her fans and loved ones across the globe. Yvette Renee Wilson was born on March 6, 1964 in Los Angeles, California. According to an article from the publication, The Mississippi Link, Yvette was one of three children. According to the article, Yvette's mother described her as an independent child with a great sense of humor and a giving heart. In the early 90s, she appeared on an episode of the game show Supermarket Sweep, where contestants answer trivia questions and then compete in a timed race throughout the supermarket. She later started her career in stand-up comedy and eventually appeared on Deaf Comedy Jam, a stand-up comedy series showcasing a rotating lineup of comedians. Many legendary comics like Steve Harvey, Martin Lawrence, Bernie Mac, Dave Chappelle and others have also performed on the show. Yvette caught the acting bug and between 1992 and 1993, she landed two episodes of the beloved sketch comedy classic In Living Color, which according to her IMDb page was her first credited acting role on the small screen. Yvette landed her first big acting role as Lynette in the 1993 ABC sitcom Thea. The series focused on Thea Terrell, played by comedian Thea Vidal, a widowed mother of four children juggling the responsibilities of her work and home life. Yvette's character Lynette was a sister of Thea. Thea, something horrible has happened. I lost my wedding ring. Oh. Grandma's wedding ring. Me and Charles looked all over. Oh. I can't find Shut up. <laughs> Yvette also starred alongside her future co-star, singer and actress Brandy, who played Denisha, the daughter of Thea. The series ran for 19 episodes before its cancellation in 1994. Other acting roles came pouring in. Yvette starred in 1993's Poetic Justice, along with Tupac Shakur, Janet Jackson, and Regina King. The following year, in 1994, Yvette appeared in House Party 3 alongside rappers Kid and Play. She also had a very memorable scene in the 1995 classic comedy film, Friday, which stars Ice Cube, Chris Tucker, Bernie Mac, Nia Long, among other stars. In one of the film's most unforgettable scenes, Yvette plays Rita, a woman who is supposed to hook up with Chris Tucker's character, Smokey. We can kick it, but I forgot I had to go pick my mom from work, and you know how that is. That's all right, I'll take you to get it. Nah, she don't like a lot of people with me when I go get her. Look, why don't you go up the street and get something to eat? I know you hungry. Uh-uh, because see, I ate twice before I came. God damn! The following year, in 1996, she played a nurse in the parody film Don't Be a Menace to South Central While Drinking Your Juice in the Hood, which also starred Sean, Marlon, Kim, and Keenan Ivory Wayans, among other stars. That same year, she landed the most prominent role of her career on the sitcom Moesha, where she starred alongside her former Thea co-star, Brandy, who played the main role of Moesha. From everything else that you've done, it's different from stand-up because stand-up, you're on your own, and if you blow it, it's just on you. But if I blow it, then they all go. <laughs> Many of you might have watched Thea a while ago. Brandy was on Thea, and you and and wait a minute, and you and Yvette were actually you yeah. were on the same show together. She was my auntie on Thea. Yeah, she was yeah. crazy on Thea. It was funny. <laughs> well, I didn't crazy. have it all. <laughs> <laughs> she's but she's crazy. Period. Uh, Charlie saw my stand up the other night. She came over. She said, oh, "I didn't know." <laughs> <laughs> what are your favorite topics when you do your your comedian? Ooh, uh, is life things that everybody goes to men men yeah. well that's pretty funny no i'm just kidding <laughs> 
The show follows Moesha and her friends as she deals with the ups and downs of being a teenager throughout her early adulthood. Yvette played her signature character, the lovable Angel Wilkerson, the owner of The Den, a local hangout spot for Moesha and her friends. Throughout the show's five-year run, it won two NAACP awards, a Shine Award, and countless other nominations. Sorry, Andel, but I have to know who this brother is. There's nobody you know. What's up, baby? Dion, hold up. You are not Dion Sanders, are you? Check the rings, baby. Check these rings. Dion, this is my friend Moesha. She was just leaving. <laughs> Excuse us, Dion. Give me the scoop. Why are you going out with Dion Sanders? Because he asked me. No, really. Did you win some Super Bowl contest or something? Get out, Mo. The series became so popular, in 1999, Moesha character Kim Parker, played by Countess Vaughn, received her own show called The Parkers, which followed Kim and her mother Nikki, played by actress and comedian Monique as they live and attend college together. Yvette remained on Moesha until the year 2000 when she left to join the cast of The Parkers and continue to play her character, Andel Wilkerson. On The Parkers, Andel plays Nikki Parker's dependable best friend who often provided the voice of reason to other characters on the show. Andel also often provided her witty commentary to other characters on the series. <laughs> Later on during the show's run, she becomes the owner of a restaurant called Andel's, after she previously sold her other establishment, The Den, during an episode of Moesha. Many of the main cast members of Moesha, including Brandy, Char Jackson, Shirley Ralph, also made crossover episodes on The Parkers. Lamont Bentley made the most appearances on the Parkers with his character, Hakeem Campbell, being featured on three episodes. I documented his life story and tragic passing in a previous video, which I have linked down below. The Parkers would go on to become the number one comedy on the UPN network, even becoming more popular than the WB's Steve Harvey show, according to a 2000 article from the LA Times. Yvette remained on the show as a main character from 2000 through the series ending in 2004, appearing in 99 of the show's 110 episodes, according to IMDb. In the series finale, it is revealed that Angel got married to her boyfriend, Johnny. Her final credited appearance on screen was in the 2005 film, Ganked, where she played the physics tutor. The film also starred Kel Mitchell, her former Friday co-star, Anna Marie Horsford, and her former The Parkers co-star, Ken Lawson. With several hit shows and movies under her belt, Yvette had earned the love and adoration of her countless fans. It seemed as if everything was going right for her, until tragedy struck. According to a 2012 news article from the website news1.com, Yvette was diagnosed with stage four cervical cancer and needed help with paying her ever-growing medical bills. The article goes on to say that in addition to her cancer diagnosis, she also had kidney issues and was in need of a kidney transplant as well. In an effort to help with her grim prognosis, her friend, Jeffrey Piddle, who is also a stage four cancer survivor, made a website for Yvette where people could donate to help her with medical bills and other expenses. According to E! News, more than $13,000 was raised to cover her treatment costs. According to another article from the Tampa Bay Times, Jeffrey Piddle said, quote, Yvette has experienced kidney failure, kidney transplants, and cervical cancer, among other things. Her cancer has come back after an extended retreat, and doctors are saying it's very aggressive this time out. According to the news website, The Mississippi Link, Yvette's mother, Thelma, said Yvette had been sick for a long time with other health conditions as well, but the cancer is what impacted her the most. Thelma said, quote, she did not want a lot of people to know that she was ill. One time, she did not want her friend, Jamie Foxx, or anyone to know which hospital she was in, but he found her, end quote. Yvette was concerned about how she looked, but she kept working and pushing forward. The article reports that Yvette attended an all-denominational church. Thelma told the Mississippi Link, quote, she attended until she could not. Then she would watch the services on television. She never complained about her illness. She remained hopeful. She still wanted to help people. Her friends had to beg her permission to set up that fund on her behalf. They told her, you're always helping others. Let people help you now. 
that was the only way she gave in to them. End quote. However, despite efforts to help her situation, her health took a disastrous turn for the worse. On June 14th, 2012, Yvette lost her life due to cervical cancer. She was only 48 years old. Her Moesha co-star, Shar Jackson, who played Nisi, tweeted, quote, Oh God, my heart is so unbelievably broken. She also tweeted, I want to thank all my Tweeties for their prayers, but God has chosen to take my sister Yvette home. Actor Jamie Foxx tweeted, quote, God bless you, Yvette Wilson. Tears in my eyes. Keep God laughing. Yvette's friend Jeffrey Pedal said, quote, I met Yvette through work, and her spark of creativity was unmatched. Our experiences with cancers gave us a special bond, and I am proud to have been able to lend her support emotionally as well as financially through the fundraiser I held. I only wish I could have done more, end quote. The Mississippi Link reports her mother, Thelma, who was a Mississippi native, said she left specific instructions that she did not want a funeral. She did not want sadness. She wanted a party. She said, I do not want people crying. I want them to celebrate, end quote. According to family, Yvette had planned everything in advance, including the party's menu. The Mississippi Link reports that the memorial party was held on June 30th, 2012 at 4 p.m. with roughly 300 people packed into the Regency West in the Crenshaw district of Los Angeles. The website reports that among the speakers, according to relatives, were Mark Curry, known for his role on Hanging with Mr. Cooper, Dorian Wilson and Ken Lawson, her former co-stars from the Parkers, Moesha star Brandy and her brother entertainer Ray J, Countess Vaughn of the Parkers, Shard Jackson of Moesha, and others. Yvette Wilson will be remembered for her warm, beautiful spirit and comedic timing that provided joy and laughter to her family and friends and countless fans worldwide. Her unforgettable characters and natural talent will live on in the hearts and minds of everyone who knew her forever.